Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tower. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. Not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Welcome to my channel. Feel free to uh, have a browse around. <laughs> There's loads of general readings there for you. You can also contact me for a personal reading as well. All right, so let's have a look. Let's see what's coming out for you guys. All right, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Okay, so we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. That is a full moon in, of course, Pisces. Okay. I don't know why. I'm kind of hearing a bit of a scatterbrains. <laughs> Maybe you've, it's just so chaotic in your mind right now that you think of one thing, then there's something else you feel like you've got to do. And you're kind of finding it hard to prioritize um, or to get things done in the time frame that you tell yourself you can do it in, but really and truly calm down, okay? <laughs> Some things might take a little bit longer. So there's a sense of impatience here I'm picking up with you guys, but it's all good. Yes, look at that. We've got obedience here. Mm. I will say that you're, you're heavily focused, you know, on what it is that you're building. Very got Libra energy here. Yeah, High Priestess of the Earth. I feel like you guys are very grounded or you know what it is that you're doing or what it is that you want to do. Some of you, it's a whole new thing that you're going into. Okay, so it's like you're laying your roots in something completely new. Okay, and I feel like you are trying to learn things more like by the book. And sort of follow some type of order. Um, oh, that's what was this one. I wanted these guys. hearing as well someone's someone suited your lifestyle then but they don't suit your lifestyle now oh well, we got earth twice yeah and we've got speak your voice i don't know if someone's trying to dig their heels into you as well and even though this person might be obligated elsewhere you could be dealing with someone here who's kind of married not kind of is all right or probably in a long-term type of committed relationship but you feel like they're firmly rooted you're firmly rooted, <laughs> okay? And it's almost like you, you've you learnt your place over a period of time, over the years, over the months, I mean, whatever it is. But I feel like there's a, there's a opportunity coming towards you where this is not practical for you anymore. I feel like you are looking for, um, you know, a commitment. And I think having this type of bond or connection with someone has made you realise that actually I, I want something more deep and meaningful you know, and it's like, you really need to speak your truth. And maybe you kind of haven't done that all the way because you're in fear of like, this person's going to reject you. Okay, but I feel like you might only feel like that because again, they're not budging off of their situation and you kind of know it. So some of you are kind of like, what's the point? But I feel like there is a part of you that feels silenced. Look at that cave. Yeah, like you're constantly protecting yourself. Yeah, I feel like there's this self-preservation when you're dealing with this person, but it's not actually doing you any favors and it's not helping you in the long run. It's just kind of keeping you stuck. Yeah, almost obedient to this connection. We have joy, okay? You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. And, and maybe that's what's kind of missing in your life right now. You've kind of forgot what it's like to laugh uncontrollably or to laugh all the time or to just enjoy things when you can, you know, because I think the situation weighs so heavy on your heart. And so I feel like they're saying that we need you to allow a little bit more joy in, okay, during this time. 
and you can uh, you can allow joy in it whenever you feel like it okay whenever and let's see what's going on with your person the person in question it's like, please don't steal my joy goddess of the moon so I really feel like this person loves to keep you in the dark I feel like they like to almost sort of be um, mysterious in some type of way. I feel like they hide a, parts of their lives from you. I almost feel like this person gives you part truth, so it makes you feel like they're telling you everything about their life, but when actually they're not. Um, so yeah, we have walking away and we have woman holding a heart. So I really feel like for a lot of you, you're about to give this person an ultimatum. Okay, and if not, I mean, some of you might have already done that and you're choosing to protect yourself from this person. Okay, and uh, it's like, in a way, you're walking away, but you're saying, please, can you come back and get me? Do you notice that I'm leaving? Are you even looking my direction? You know, here, I'm holding my heart. I'm trying to give this to you. Yeah, see, and <laughs> we have Angel of Balance on the bottom of the deck, and you have your balance, spirituality, and practicality. And I think this is about realizing that, you know, this relationship is not, what you're giving is not being reciprocated. You know, and for some of you, it's taken you back to a place of like childhood, you know, where you felt like, because some of you, I feel like you, even as a child, you had to give all the love even just to get a little thing back from your parents, family, siblings, whatever it is. It's just kind of how you felt. So you've always had that need to kind of want to give, you know, even to the people that don't deserve it, even to the people that, you know, walk in and out of your life. And I just feel like the person you're dealing with is very, very secretive. All right. I also feel like for some of you, you know, you're kind of holding on to that connection as, you know, I've never felt this connection with anyone before. Um, but although, you know, you're, you're yearning for this type of connection, the reality of being with this person is, is not... Is not the same, I feel like, as the fantasy you've created or the moments that you spend together, they're moments... You know, this person can walk away, they can leave, they can go home. <laughs> you know, they can realign their mask for when they see you the next time. I feel like this person just wants to give rations. That's all they've been giving you. It's just, you know, any little scraps of time they can do. And I even feel like this person would rather go out or be with friends or do other things and even give their time to you, which hurts even more. Because you're like, well, you're not even with your wife or your kids or, or whatever it is, or your business, okay? But I, I I think as well, what happens with this person is that they, they're coming up as a bit of a high priest here. I feel like this person is a bit of a chameleon. They can just kind of transform into what you need them to be at the time. And I feel like you do come across as very spiritual. Um, and I, I feel like this person has probably thrown you some spiritual jargon, okay? terms like soulmate <laughs> and you know I, I do I, I feel like there is a past life thing going on it you know all of that okay and it's, it's just a way to kind of blindfold you and trap you there okay because you're up in the ante here okay you're not just having that place of obedience knowing your place putting up and shutting up you're about ready to speak your truth now okay and so this person's ready for that all right <laughs> And so they feel like they just kind of want you to be careful, okay? Because when they come back to you with that type of talk, you go back into this state. 
All right, but they're saying here's the world here. And we're going to be wrapping this up. Okay, not the reading, but hopefully this relationship here. All right, there's a lot here to do with, well, I've invested all this time and energy. So I've, I've done all that work on you, what now you're going to go off with someone else and they're going to reap the benefits. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure this person is, is interested in falling in love, in having a deep, meaningful relationship or connection really with anyone. I feel like they struggle to have it with themselves, even though they come across as quite spiritual. Okay, this could also be how they kind of reel some women in. Not all of you. This could also be a female to a man as well. Okay, take it as it resonates. But a lot of this spiritual jargon I'm kind of getting from this person. You know, maybe they've, they've learned a lot about their mistakes or, you know, they've gone... <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> what's that place? But that place is make-believe, isn't it, in Friends? <laughs> what was it, Ross? Was it Joey would say? Backpacking off Mount Thibodeau or something like that. <laughs> you know, they, they could have had these types of experiences. And so you're fascinated, you know, even by them. Or they love to look up these types of things. They love these types of documentaries and things like that. So they almost manipulate these things. Okay, as to a reflection of what they feel like you want to see and what you want to hear, right? And I just think this person is a master of illusions over here, okay? And that's why as well I feel like they're just saying, look, we want you to be careful, okay? It's not just about a spiritual connection with someone. Is this person ready to love you? <laughs> okay, are they all right up there? Yeah, because we got the emperor. This person likes to be in control. They like to be in charge, okay? They are the boss at all times. There's a high level of narcissism, I feel like, coming from this particular emperor, okay? And we've got the queen of wands. And see, that's the thing. I feel like they met you when you were, you know, at your strongest, okay? You're independent, confident. They like that. You could have been even a bit, a bit of a challenge for them, to be honest with you, you know? Because it's not easy to really break down your walls as such. But I feel like when they came along, you felt like you found your equal. Do you know what I mean? You were like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. I could handle this person. Some of you even said, I could handle him. I, I know what he is. I know what she is. But I, I, I can handle it. And I think that things just kind of spun out of control for you guys really quickly. And then this person was kind of masking another connection, I feel like, from the past with somebody else. Yeah, as I say that, the Six of Cups, six of cups comes flying out. Hierophant, yeah. This person could have been married or is still legally married and lying. Okay, for some of you, they could have also left their person with nothing, found a way to take everything, hide everything. This person, mm -mm. this definitely is protection by this person being removed. Okay, from your life, okay? All right, let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm asking what's being hidden from you. We've got strength, tower, nine of pentacles, judgment, ten of swords. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you are going to about you. You will find out some information. And the thing is, I feel like you kind of already know some stuff, or maybe your intuition is telling you so, or maybe this person has actually done things to you in the past, and you're just thinking it couldn't really get any worse. They wouldn't really do this again. But guarantee you, you're going to find out something that is is going to be very shocking to you. Okay, and I, th I feel like you're saying, what else could shock me? But I feel like other people are involved in this situation. Feels like it's going to get messy. More, maybe more on their end, but this could be a whole thing going down. And then we've got Eight of Cups. All right, some of you, I feel like, if you're not trying to investigate this person, someone is most definitely trying to investigate them. Someone's trying to retrace someone's, <clears throat> some, <clears throat> sorry, I've been talking a lot. Someone's trying to retrace someone's steps, three of swords. Yeah, third parties. Someone's doing some digging. It could be you. It definitely could be another feminine here as well, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
know it's interesting. We sometimes you just kind of say like, okay, you know, how much more can I take? And it's like, okay, well, do you want to find out? <laughs> you know, sometimes we need to see what that thing is that could stop us from, from loving them for eternity because we feel like that is the only thing that could pull us away from a particular person, okay? And I feel like for some of you, you really are going to see that this is a very strong possibility and this person could hurt you more than you could really imagine. All right, so they really want you to just find this balance of this spirituality and this practicality, okay? You need to stay focused, aligned, and grounded, all right? But not deep-rooted to this person, though, right? We've got Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Virgo. See, there could also be some issues. This person could have suffered some issues within their business as well. Okay, they've lost some, some money. They could be dealing with some stress, anxiety, depression as well. Okay, meanwhile, look at that privileged lady. Something great is happening in your career. <laughs> it's like you're mirroring each other, but in opposite forms. Yeah, you know, and this person kind of feels they can buy you, they can buy you a gift. Okay. But really it's because this person is trapped. And like I said, they want to keep things their way. But we have maturity, we have wisdom here. This person doesn't fit into your life right now. I think they ever do. We have empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. Now, focus, come closer. This is gonna be your problem because you empathize with them. You give this person way more empathy than you even give to yourself, okay? In fact, you don't have much for yourself because you definitely put your needs, your feelings all the way to the back, okay? And that's what this person is coming in. They're coming in to tell you a story of woe is me. All right, and I think that has something to do with their money and their business and everything else, okay? And they're saying, okay, feel sorry for them from a distance, shout out to God, do a prayer, do what you gotta do. Try not to connect with this person, okay? Your boundaries are not fully in place in terms of your empathy for, for the opposite. Can't say that word on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Must be careful. And because you do care so deeply about this person, you do love them. You've got a strong Cancerian. I feel like a lot of you are a Cancer moon here. Or definitely a Cancer sun. <laughs> I can feel you with Cancer energy. All right, let's see. We have instincts. I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I will know what service I'm called to do. I believe in myself. And I feel like if you're always constantly focusing on your purpose, you don't have any time to focus in people who lack their purpose, who lack their vision, who lack their goals, okay? Like I said, you're not aligning and they're not matching with your highest good or the path that you're, you're choosing to travel on. I even feel like some of you here are gonna be starting a spiritual business. I'm just kind of hearing that. Let's see here, a healing, healing. Look 
that wand. Yeah, we got a rebirth and we got fulfillment. So I think a lot of this right here is going to be self-love. Now, I'm not saying this forever. I'm not saying that you're not going to find somebody and all this and that. But I feel like there is this transformation, this transition that you're going through right now. And you're just setting new intentions and requirements that you want for yourself. Goals, you know, things like that. And I think you're going from that dark space into the light. Okay. And it is dark space into that light. Okay, that's our yin and that's our yang. That's how I feel. All right, balance spirituality and practicality. And then we have fulfillment. Okay, so you are just going to be finding, you know, like we said, joy. You know, that is a part of self-love. Making a point to smile and be happy. Okay, even when you're like, oh, hell no. Not today. All right, let's pull a little bit of tarot. Not too much, okay? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, someone's definitely going to be going in for some vocal. Vocal. I don't know where that come from. I see someone doing vocal warm-ups. Me, me, me. Not me. <laughs> I'll save that for karaoke. Yeah, so look, you're feeling a little bit of lack, a little bit of loss here, but with this Eight of Wands and this Eight of Pentacles, look at that and the Fool come on through, taking that leap of faith. Yeah, some of you as well, you're like, ooh, this, this new job or this new career, this is a long shot, you know, but I've got to reach for this. Maybe I've got to investigate. Maybe I've got to, you know, um, research, sorry. Okay, but for others of you who are at that stage of, no, I'm ready to really get out there, get out there and put this thing. Okay, put yourself out there, expand. Okay, network, communicate more. You definitely have um, more money coming towards you that you're going to have to juggle. And definitely, this could be two lines of income coming through for you, you know. So be something you do and then something that you might actually just kind of stumble upon because you saw something and went for it or someone saw you and decided to just give you a message and say hey would you do this wow yeah some of you are receiving a contract here journey this is something new we've got occupation and we've got family room and we've got unexpected income. So this is definitely something that I feel like if you could de dedicate more time to this and have that mental clarity and be free minded not to be dealing with this type of stress, you've got money coming towards you. OK, but look at this thief coming up at the bottom of the deck, trying to steal your time. OK, trying to steal your time. Don't let them do it, please. Don't let them do it. OK, don't delay your life any longer okay we got compromise but really i think a lot of this is about balancing okay because as much as you're going to be super busy at work they want you to balance your personal life too okay they really need you and i think it's about finding joy relaxing being happy <laughs> okay Finding that work-life balance, okay? Especially because you're about to become even busier. Ooh. Sorry, they all fell. Yeah, because you're about to become busier as well. It's gonna be hard, but I feel like you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> but don't stop. Okay, don't stop. So we have Aries here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo and a Pisces Cancer. All right, I feel like I wanna read you a little something. I'm gonna read you an animal spirit and then I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, let's see. Yes, the raccoon. <laughs> yes. 
This is for some of you here have not put that thing out yet because mentally you probably just haven't had the space, you know, because you've had all this stuff going on, right? But look, talented, shadowy, in hiding, raccoon energies at play within all artists to greater or lesser degree. At best, it indicates talent, tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or a creative tool. Its shadow side points to an unresolved issue around self-image and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask works in an artist's favor. Other times it limits creativity. Am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I'm ready to grow into something more? Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. When in balance, generous friend, exceptional artist. When out of balance, competitive, starving artist. To bring into balance, make new work. And that's what I'm saying about going out there, getting it, just going for it. Because look, this is what I was saying to you as well. Some of you here could be singers. That's why I could hear like vocal warm ups and vocal lessons and things like that. You know, and maybe some of you have, you know, been out there doing it and people don't even know, hey, that's you. There's someone else with your face and your name and everything on your thing. Okay, but you just haven't, maybe your confidence was knocked in the past when you used to do this. Look, I got gold, but this is super, I feel like you're super interesting. You're super talented and it is time for you to come out of the shadows, okay? And really just go for it, okay? I'm, I'm gonna say this and I, I mean this with love. Get over yourself. All right, the world needs you. The world needs your gift. The world needs to hear your story because I'm sure it is amazing, okay? And maybe you're worried there's a, because I feel like there's fear of judgment here. You know what? But I feel like you've said all the worst things you could possibly ever say to yourself that, you know, I don't think anyone else could say anything you haven't probably already heard or you haven't already said to yourself, what damage can they do? What have you got to lose? Nothing. But what is going to bring you joy? Your gift. Wow. Oh, we've got round and round. All right, quick read, guys, and I'm out of here. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated cycles, you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. Okay, let's go to relationship. Oh, I do want to read prosperity though. Ooh, let's go to prosperity. I don't know, I'm going to prosperity. If you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life. It is because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have and your attraction to the opportunities and people who have entered your life to be a part of your journey to prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them? When you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past, it's a good time to get a coach or mentor who can help you see what you can't on your own. Repeat what works, not what doesn't. Then you will free yourself from the old cycles and cease going round and round. Wow. This reading blew my mind. I don't know who you guys are. <laughs> Okay, but wow, you're extremely powerful. You, they, ooh, the power I feel inside me right now, like you have so much to give. Okay, and I feel like you haven't been heard. You haven't been heard. And you know what? God is hearing you now, okay? He always did, but you needed these trials and tribulations. All right, and now you need to conquer this fear. This is part of it. All right, some angel messages. And I gotta go, I just love you guys so much, like... Oh, this energy of this reading is everything to me right now. Just don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. All right, we've got, oh, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. And maybe that's just what you need as well. Some bundles of joy, some good news coming to your family. And we have, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose and we've got new romances imminent either with a newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving and we can clearly see here it's all about the new new for you 
Right, guys, I've got to go. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I love you so much. Um, I wish you all the luck in the world, but you know what? You've got this. And maybe you do need someone who's like, and maybe as well, I feel like with you guys, this, there's a lot of reaching out for maybe to people who you felt maybe would never want to work with you or wouldn't do stuff with you because, you know, you're taboo or you're out of the box or you're whatever you negative things you replay in your mind. They're saying, just let all that go. And you know what? I'm a, um, what is it? Donuts don't get kind of thing. So all you can do is say no. I'll, I'm, I'll get over it. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to find out how to make it a yes, even if I've got to go another route. And I feel like you guys have that same drive. You just kind of lost it just a little bit, but it's coming back. Anyway, one mustache. Um, it's been a pleasure. Take care. Look after yourselves and good luck. Bye.